Hey Oki Tools here and this is going to be a video of replacing the rear brake pads on my 2005 Ford Expedition. This is the uh, XLT model with the 5.4 liter V8 engine, the uh, three valve, and this is also pertinent for model years 2003, 4, 5, and 6 that have the same setup. So these are the brake pads I got from rockauto.com. You can get any sort of brake pad you want. The uh, original equipment manufacturer brake pads are semi-metallic, I believe. But uh, I decided to go with uh, ceramic brake pads. There's a lot of uh, pros to going with ceramic brake pads, such as uh, less dust, uh, quieter, and last a little bit longer. So I just prefer them, so that's why I went with them. And I just got these Bendex because they were... Uh, you know on sale and uh, if you're interested this is the uh, code on it D935 CT and this is what actually comes in the package you get the uh, rear brake pads they're a lot smaller than the front and unlike the front I'm glad to see that they uh, supplied new outside clips I wish they had done that with the Bendix CT3s that had come from my front brake pads I had to use the original clips that were with it, but it came with uh, these new ones, these new springs that go on the outside, so that's good to see. Okay, so I already got the wheel off and uh, got a uh, jack stand on the frame and got the uh, jack, floor jack back under there uh, just to have two points of uh, contact and uh, got some um, chalks in there in the front and back to make sure it doesn't move, so safety first on that. I'm using an old milk crate. Um, and when I take the caliper off so that it's not hanging on the brake line, I'm going to set it on there uh, so I can do all the work I need to. As you can see, these uh, are going to be a lot smaller uh, than the front brake pads uh, because we're on the rear here. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, I'm over here on the passenger side and I just want to make a quick, real quick note. So you may have a little plug like this that is actually right there in the boot uh, while you're trying to get with it, with, get to it with your T45 uh, socket. And uh, I had one of these on the upper and the lower on this side, but this is the only corner of uh, the vehicle that actually had one. Didn't have any on the driver's side, didn't have any on the front. They're probably all supposed to be on there uh, just to keep, uh, you know, dust and grime and water out of there so it doesn't uh, prematurely uh, rust up or anything but I just pried mine off a little screwdriver and just be aware you may have them on there okay so first off you need to take uh, the slide pins out and uh, the slide pins are T45 uh, Torx bits so there's one right there and there's one right there you just need to take those out so this butts loose real easy there's one slide pin now for the next one And there's the bottom. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is, this is where that clip was I was talking about earlier with the kit. You need to take that one off, the old one off. Uh, that way the uh, caliper can actually come off. Okay, so as you can see there, I got the caliper off. And there's actually a hard line on it that goes to a flex line. And the flex line isn't long enough to set down on the milk crate. Uh, but the milk crate still makes a nice place where you can rest your tools at. I just went ahead and rested on that cross member. Just be aware of it and uh, make sure you're aware of the line uh, to keep it from getting tangled up or hanging on itself. Uh, so as you can see here, we got the clip off, got the caliper off, and uh, this is the outside brake pad and this is the inside brake pad. It's got this little spring dealy that actually goes down into the piston itself. And uh, if you're looking at those, you're probably wondering, why the hell is he replacing those? There's plenty of brake pad material on there. And there is, there was on the front and there appears to be on the back. I was getting a little bit of squeaking, uh, a little bit of brake noise, uh, but you know, it probably wasn't really that big a deal. It has gone away since I did the front. Um, but uh, you know, there is plenty of material there, but I had already planned when I purchased this vehicle, because they're so heavy and I didn't know the last time the brakes got serviced, to go ahead and replace all the brake pads on them. And that's why I purchased them as a set altogether. 
and uh, you know I do recommend turning your rotors when you do a job like this uh, this one does look like it may need to be done or even replaced uh, it still looks like it's got plenty of material on it I may just have them turn uh, the fronts looked a lot nicer than these uh, but that is something I do recommend you may think about doing so uh, at least for my peace of mind and replacing them I believe these are the semi metallics so replacing them with ceramics and maybe keeping these as backups um, you know it's Guess it's just me being anal about it, but already planning on replacing them, so replacing them. Okay, so don't know how well you're going to be in frame, but I hope you are throughout it. And uh, this is my setup here. Got my 8-inch uh, C-clamp on there. Uh, got it set up against this back here, and then got it up against one of the uh, brake pads. And we're going to push the piston back into the caliper. Uh, make sure that you're aware of the brake line and don't kink it or anything. And also make sure that you uh, take the cap off, to raise the hood, and take the cap off of the brake reservoir. This allows it all the uh, pressure to go back in there instead building up and possibly bellowing out uh, these actual boots that are on there so here we go hope you're in uh, frame so it's going back in there nicely it doesn't look like anything's you know going bellowing out or not like it's not supposed to or anything like that So that looks like it bottomed out there. So it's uh, time to take all that unit off and go ahead and uh, put the brake pads in and go ahead and put it back together. Okay, as you can see there, I got the uh, new brake pad in back here. And uh, one thing I like to do is I like to use some of this grease that I got right here, this Silla grease, uh, Silla glide, I mean. I like to put it right there because those are the wear points that are going to be where the pads are actually uh, running at so uh, I got the uh, other pad here I already got it lubed up as you can see got it on there and it just makes it glide a little bit easier I also like to put it on the pins and it just kind of helps with brake noise so I uh, got both of them in now ready to uh, put it back together and uh, uh, go ahead and finish her up I just snug that one up that's the bottom one Okay, snug the top one up too. Okay, now all I have to do is uh, put the clip on the outside. Okay, so there you go. Uh, got the caliper off, got the old brake pads out, got the new brake pads in, got the uh, piston uh, seated back into the caliper, got it uh, back on, got the pins lubricated and torqued up. And as you can see, got the new spring on. All you have to do now is uh, go ahead and put the wheel back on, properly torque the wheel, uh, set her down, and then uh, go ahead and remember to pump your brake pedal a few times, put your cap back on the reservoir, pump your brake pedal a few times to seat the pads, and then uh, I'll do the other side as well. And then don't forget to test them uh, before you rely on them. Uh, so uh, I gotta say, I've done quite a few just brake jobs uh, in my time. Just uh, just did 10 in the last year actually uh, on different vehicles, uh, kind of a side thing I do. And these have got to be, as far as like the front and doing the rears, some of the easiest ones I've had to deal with, uh, really. Uh, they just don't seem that complicated. Not that brake pad changing out brake pads is complicated in the first place. Of course, it's not. Um, it's a very easy DIY type project. And uh, but these just seem to be, uh, you know, have no problems uh, with the piston. Uh, no problems getting the caliper off and getting it back on. Uh, having the uh, pins and uh, the actual bolts that hold on the caliper being you know one and the same is a nice feature and uh, just dealing with the brake pads themselves and uh, at least on the front with the clips that come with them just uh, these are just real easy to work with uh, so Ford did a good job on designing these um, uh, by a long shot over some of the other ones I've had to deal with in the past so uh, this was my video changing out the rear brake pads on my 2005 Ford Expedition. Uh, this is also pertinent for model years 2003, 4, 5, and 6. Thanks for watching.